For these three basic lower back stretches, I'm going to start off by coming onto all fours and then bringing your big toes together, taking the knees wider so that they come to about mat width apart, and then let your hips come to settle back down onto your heels and let your forehead and your chest come all the way down to the floor into the space between the knees. So the hips are fairly wide apart. It may be that they don't press right the way down onto the heels and that's fine. And if your head doesn't come all the way down onto the floor, you can always bring your hands onto your, your head onto your hands or you can stretch your arms out in front of you and let the forehead really release all the way downwards towards the ground beneath. Take a few moments just to find your breath and breathe into your belly and breathe into your back and breathe into your hips and breathe all the way down towards the base of your spine. This lengthens your back muscles, it opens the whole of the lower back, realigning the pelvis and releasing any tension around the head, the neck, the shoulders and the lower spine itself. A couple of more long, full, deep breaths into the belly as though you can breathe into your kidneys and feel as though they could float up a little bit towards the sky on the inhalation, dropping down the back on the exhalation. So that constant expansion through the belly and through the back and the pelvis each time you breathe in. A constant sense of relaxation and quiet release each time you breathe out. Expanding on the inhale. Softening in the exhale. And just draw your way up to all fours. Realign the knees beneath the hips. Relax the toes all the way down onto the floor and spread the fingers open wide as you place the hands beneath the shoulders. On the inhale, stretch the chest forwards and up. So you're squeezing gently through the muscles of your back, lengthening the chest forwards and lifting up towards the tips of the ears. And when it comes to it, as you find yourself breathing out, then soften the arms a little bit, draw the navel back towards the spine, roll the pelvis under, let the chin tuck down in towards the chest and let the crown of the head be heavy and the back of the neck be long. So as that you can press your hips back a little way towards the heels, really stretching out through the whole of the back. Take a couple of deep breaths, enjoying that length through the spine from the tailbone to the tip of the skull. Inhaling then lengthen forwards. Again, we squeeze into the kidneys, but we stretch through the torso, through the abdominal area, lengthening through the neck. Reaching up to the tips of the ears, stretching the sitting bones up towards the sky so we can press through the whole of the back but lengthen through the front of the body. Massaging and squeezing into the discs between the vertebrae. We'll roll the pelvis under as you breathe out again. So the chin tucks in towards the chest, the crown of the head's heavy, back of the neck's long, tailbone scooping under, hips are stretching back a little bit towards the heels, lengthening out through the spine. Stay with the breathing. And inhale, extending forwards, lifting, lengthening and opening. Staying with the breath, feel that the collarbones are nice and open, feel as though the hips are nice and open. Stretching through the whole of the back, the face remains soft, the eyes remain soft. Exhaling when you're ready, we'll roll the pelvis under again, let the chin tuck in towards the chest, stretch the hips back towards the heels, let the crown of the head be heavy. Let the back of the neck be long. Stay with an easy flow of breath. And again, inhale, extend forwards. Really make the most of the stretch. If you get a little bit more comfortable now as you've moved through a few times. This time, we're going to turn the toes under and as you breathe out, we'll extend the hips up and back into a stretch that's known in yoga as downward dog. So the whole of the body is in an inverted V shape. The hips are stretching up towards the ceiling. You can bend the knees a little bit so we get as much length out through the spine as possible. Don't worry if your back is rounded or if your back feels tight. Just soften the knees and try and press the chest back a little bit towards the thighs. If you need to, you can always walk your feet back a little bit further. Lift up to your tiptoes and stretch the heels down towards the floor as you find the breathing into the side of the lungs, into the side of the spine. Let the head be heavy. And then when you're ready, as you breathe in again, soften the knees, relax the toes, bring the big toes together and take the knees wider apart. Once more, let the hips sink back and down into the heels. Let the forehead release. Take a few moments to breathe into the belly and into the hips and into the back. 
Staying with that easy flow of breath, just let the whole of the back relax. Take a few moments to let everything soften here. And then repeat in your own time. 